All right, y'all, so we put in about one tablespoon of baking soda in each one of these little cupcake tin things, all right? So y'all can use uh, little bowls if you want, but this is just an easy, cute way to do this, all right? One, about one tablespoon, all right. Now, y'all, we also add in a little bit of water, um, about the same amount, about one tablespoon of water or so to each little hole, all right? But, oops, we, well, we already put a little bit in there, about. It don't have to be exact, y'all. Y'all will see what we're doing here, all right. So now, this is the fun part, some food coloring. We're gonna do six different colors, all right? So we're gonna do pink, we're gonna do uh, yellow, we're gonna do orange, we're gonna do, uh, I think this is like turquoise. Oops, that, that's a lot. We're gonna do purple. Okay. And then we also going to do, I uh, have this pastel green. So let's see how this looks. All right. So now I have these uh, little sticks. So I got these out. I don't know why I didn't. We're going to give these all a little mix. So we mix these all together to form colors. And we want these colors to be pretty vibrant. And y'all will see why. I like this pastel green, but I'm going to add a little bit of regular green because we want these colors to be pretty bright and vibrant. So once you have all your colors mixed, we're going to take these sticks out. We don't need these sticks anymore. Do y'all know where I'm going with this? I wonder if y'all know yet. All right, we don't need the sticks anymore. This looks great, this looks so fun. Man, how come this didn't, How come this wasn't happening when I was a kid? How come my mama didn't know about this when I was a kid? All right, y'all, so now what we gonna do, this is the fun part. We have hard boiled eggs. We have six hard boiled eggs and these are in a bigger tin and y'all will see why. So I also have some paint brushes, all right? So we're gonna take six paint brushes, one for each different color. Some of them are real fine, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to put the fine one there. So what I'm going to start with uh, this color. So we're going to use this paintbrush, and we're going to paint some globs on some eggs, all right? And we're going to do it right on in here. So I think I'm only going to do like two colors on each egg, but we'll, we'll see what, what it looks like. But this is a super fun, um, oh, we got some pink on there, but that's okay. This is a super fun way to decorate Easter eggs for kids. Kids will love it. All right, so now I think I'm going to take some of this turquoise because I really like this. And we're gonna put this on. Oh yeah, this is nice and thick. So we can roll it around. Y'all can just do it however you want, all right? So there we go. Um, what else are we gonna do? Let's take some of this orange. Orange. This is fun, y'all. This is gonna be, this is so fun. Kids will love this. Y'all should totally try this with your kids or your grandkids um, or your pets. I'm just kidding. <laughs> can y'all picture Kevin up here holding a paintbrush with his little paw? <laughs> all right, y'all. So yeah, just get creative. Y'all can do whatever you'd like. So I'm just going to keep, I'm going to keep uh, putting paint all over these and then I'm going to show y'all what they look like when I'm done. All right, y'all. So me and Bridgie just did all these eggs. Um, so again, we used all these colors. Oops. We, we didn't want that to happen, but now we're just going to let these sit for a little while to let the color seep into the eggshell. And then y'all are going to love the next step. This is the most fun way to decorate Easter eggs. I can't wait to show y'all. All right, y'all. So these have been sitting for a little over an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I don't even know. So now our next step, y'all we have some white vinegar so this is the fun part y'all this is gonna be so cool so this is what we gonna do y'all we're gonna put a little vinegar on top of each egg all right this is so cool this is making me so happy this is my most favorite way to color eggs because because of what happens look at this sizzle sizzle and that's why also why I use this uh, these deeper um, muffin tin all right that looks so cool all right y'all you want to know what well, that, that's still sizzling. I mean, it's just so satisfying to watch, okay? So now, uh, I'm gonna move. Me and Bridgie made another pan of them, too. We made two, um, but I put these in this heart thing. So these are gonna be, these aren't as deep. This might make a mess, but that's okay. I feel like it's satisfying to watch, so I feel like I should share it with y'all, share this moment with y'all. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go, that's okay. Ooh, okay, okay, here we go. Okay, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna, um, Clean this mess up that I just made. Oh, actually, wow, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna put them on uh, on a little serving platter and um, I'm gonna show y'all how these eggs turned out. I'm so excited. All right, y'all, so here's those eggs. Um, Honestly, y'all, me and Bridgie were just talking about this. We're really happy with how these turned out. I feel like they look so cute and the colors are real vibrant. I feel like we made some last week and the colors were not this vibrant, but, um, yeah, we're real, real happy with how these turned out. The only, only thing I'll say is like the green, we put green on quite a few, but it kind of washed away. So, um, but we're, we're living and learning here. But yeah, y'all, this is, uh, I, I honestly think this is the most fun and best way to make Easter eggs. 
And uh, this is the way I'm going to be doing it from now on. Y'all have to try it.